Okay, only two students got a perfect score on the 11s for activity. So I just wanted to go over what it took to get a uh, perfect score. So first of all, um, shuffle should be included in the constructor of the deck. So once you build the deck, uh, now that we have a shuffle method, um, a, an ordered deck is not going to be of any use. So as soon as you set the size, uh, then the deck should be shuffled. Um, so a few people caught on to that, um, and that's just thinking through the app and what's needed. What I should be able to see is really, really easy code, that if I run your deck tester, then I can just quickly see that, oh yeah, all right, here's a full deck, and look at it shuffled. So um, I don't need to look through your code. I can just quickly look through a very well-sorted output and see, um, okay, their size variable is working, that's cool, that uh, I can see that they haven't dealt anything and, uh, and that it's shuffled, that, you know, that I can just look through this output and see a very clearly organized um, deck and uh, it's um, methodically testing each method. Um, so that's what the uh, tester or unit test um, uh, is all about. So, um, we're including spacing, we're including, uh, so spacing here, spacing by printing lines, section uh, uh, titles. Um, it's a variety of different uh, attempts, very clearly formed decks. Um, so all of this is, is pretty cleanly done. Okay, so <laughs> um, this example gets a little bit carried away with the this. Um, we don't need to specify this absolutely every time. I mean, you can. This is accurate. Uh, but um, here, one second. Okay, I got rid of the, this. Um, but some of you uh, guys were creating cards right here in the shuffle method. Um, the reason why I can put this.cards is because up at the top here, cards exists here. It's an instance variable. It's It belongs to this deck class. So uh, that's why I can do this deck of cards. So this inside this deck object there are cards um, which is a private uh, array list. Um, so that's why I don't need to uh, redefine them um, inside the shuffle method. Cards is there already. Um, it was it was built in the constructor, so you don't need to establish it or redefine it in this method. It already exists um, as an instance variable, and it's configured in the constructor. Um, okay, so then we uh, so there are a number of different ways you can draw a random int. Um, so uh, this this works fine. So we just uh, draw a random int. Um, we scale. Oh wow, this loop is going. The wrong way too. Um, but I mean, it works fine too. This this approach also works, but we were counting down um, instead of counting up. Um, but uh, what's important is the three part swap with a random position, um, and then once it's done uh, with the loop. Uh, wait, yeah. See, this is resetting this card size every time. This technically works, but you're resetting it 52 times. Um, you can just, for this one, you can just put it right outside the loop and that will work a little cleaner. Um, you don't need to reset that. And so this is important. You need to uh, set the, si the size. So this is um, this is the size variable that's defined, um, well here is its accessor method. Um, then and here is where it's first defined. This is the number of not yet dealt cards. It's not the size of this array. Uh, the size of this array are the total number of cards. When this size is equal to this size, that means no cards have been dealt. But every time I deal a card, if I find the method, every time I deal a card, uh, here we go. Every time I deal a card, I move the counter down one, and then I get the card at that counter. If I deal another one, the counter goes down yet again. And so the size of my undealt, undealt deck keeps going down. And when I 
uh, reset the deck, I will move it back up to the total uh, length of however many cards I have. And so that way the uh, size variable is moved back and I have a full deck to deal out again. Um, so this, this line of code was missed a lot. And, uh, and that's something that you need to, need to include.